Thomas Bradwardine, De Causa Dei, Episode 5. Vigenti quatuor etiam definitionum sel propositionum de Deo a vigenti et quatuor. Philosophies editardrum quinque sic aet. Deus est quo neho melius ex cogitar ripotest, quibus etiam concordanter anselmus pros ologion duo, credimus inquit Deo, te essa aliquid quo neho melius cogitar reposit, qui et manologion quindicum. Sicut inquit nefas est putardre quod substantia supremae naturae sit aliquid, quo melius sit aliquo modo non ipsum. Sic necessa est, ut sit quicquid omnino melius est, quam non ipsum. As he continues, Bradwardine is going to first talk about the 24 different positions given by 24 different philosophers, and then he's going to quote beginning with Anselm. This, of course, is Anselm of Canterbury, who was born in 1109 AD, 240 years before Bradwardine himself was born. So he says, there are also 24 different statements of definitions or of propositions on the subject of God published at Itarum by 24 different philosophers. So we have a definitionum and a propositionum, which are feminine, plural, and genitive. They are nouns and they are synonyms, that's what the sao tells us, and they're modified by editardrum. So 24 also of definitions, we would say 24 definitions or statements on the subject of God, de Deo, as published or given editardrum by 24 philosophers. Philosophies masculine, plural, and ablative of agency, modified by this Arabic numeral 24. Uh, they are as follows, seek it. God is than which nothing better can be conceived. I suppose the Arabic numeral 5 here is referring to the section in which Bradwardine found this information. I'm not really sure exactly where it is. At first I thought it was Boethius, uh, who wrote the Consolation of Philosophy and is mentioned in the previous portion of this reading. I no longer think it is Boethius. That doesn't make any sense. If you have a suggestion and can solve this riddle, please let me know. But moving on, Deus, there's our subject, masculine, singular, and nominative. God is, Deus est, and here's the definition. He is that than which nothing better can be conceived. So what about the quo? Well, the quo, we know for sure that it is singular and ablative. It is, in fact, an ablative of comparison. But should we take it as masculine or should we take it as neuter? Well, one popular way to translate it is as neuter. He is that thing than which. But we could also construe it as masculine because, of course, the forms of the masculine and neuter are identical. He is the one than whom nihil melius, nothing better, can be conceived or thought up. With these ideas, quibus, as well, concordantur anselmus. Anselm is in complete harmony. Concordantur is an adverb. So Anselm shows complete agreement, concordantur, with these positions, quibus. And quibus will be probably feminine, plural, and dative. I say probably because the gender is unclear. If it refers to definition or proposition, then it's going to be feminine. If it refers to the general idea contained in this phrase, then probably uh, quibus would be neuter. Then we get the quotations from Anselm. You can look in the prosologion or the prosologion section 2, says Brad Redeen, and here's what Anselm says. We believe, he says, in God, that you are something, te asa aliquid, than which nihil melius cogitardri posit, than which nothing better can be thought of. So both cogitardri and ex cogitari, these are going to be infinitives, and they're going to be present passive. So present passive infinitives, clearly they are, uh, one is a compound of another, ex cogitardre is a compound of cogitare, and as is often the case, the compounded form with ex is simply emphatic, can be thought of whatsoever. Then he continues, and he says, qui et, qui etiam, who also, and the who here is Anselm, who also in his monologion, section 15, monologion, so the proslogion and the monologion, two works of Anselm, 
says this, just as sicut nefas est putara, it is nefas, it is wrong to think that the substance of the supreme nature, so substantia is going to be feminine, singular, and nominative, the subject, the substance of the supreme nature, supremae naturae, feminine, singular, and genitive, is anything or something by which it is better in any way that is not itself. So also, seek, it is necessary to think that, so we supply putara again, that whatever is in any way, omnino, better than it is, is better than not itself. Now, if you are saying to yourself, that's confusing, I don't get it, I am with you, that is not easy to understand. So I draw from this a general lesson about scholastic philosophy, which is precisely, in scholastic Latin, which is precisely what Brad Dean is arguing. First of all, it has jargon, right? The um, ipsum right here, or the non ipsum quam non ipsum. This is a special uh, scholastic kind of phraseology. And secondly, I would say that the grammar and the syntax, the grammar and the syntax of scholastic Latin is really simple, but the meaning is difficult. They are trying to express, the scholastic fathers are trying to express complicated ideas about God in language that, like all language, is quite limited. So what does this mean? Let's take another look at it. Just as he says, namely Anselm, it is wrong to think that the substance of the supreme nature, i.e. God, is anything than which there is something better in some way that is not itself, that is not God. So it is necessary, putara, to think that there is anything that is in all ways or altogether better that is not better than God himself, in other words, than something that is not himself. So no matter how you think about God, there is nothing better than God himself, and there is nothing that is better in any way that is not in some way like God who is better in every way. At least that's how I understand it. And I would like to thank Dr. Patrick Owens for helping me somewhat with this last portion here, which I found quite difficult. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that free lesson. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Latin per diem. And if you really love it, you can leave a tip right here as a super fan. Thank you so much.